Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. This video lecture is about uh, silicon controlled rectifiers. It is known as SCR in short. Here we will discuss the structure, working and VI characteristics of silicon controlled rectifiers. So here you can see this is the schematic diagram of uh, SCR and this is the symbol we will also see various uh, operating modes the basics of SCR and also the VI characteristics this is the VI characteristic this is the forward biasing region and here is the reverse biasing region of SCR so we will discuss all these things in this uh, video lecture so keep watching this video till the end so that you can understand all the concepts of SCR in the same video Actually, silicon controlled rectifier SCR is a four layer and three junction, four layer and three junction PNPN -PN semiconductor switching device. You can see here in this uh, schematic diagram of SCR also that it is a four layer one, two, three, four. And uh, these four layers after joining form three junctions junction J1, junction J2, and junction J3. And here is the anode and the cathode and this one is the gate. This is the schematic symbol. We will see all these things but uh, let me first uh, give you the overview of it. This is the anode, this part and uh, this is uh, the cathode, this region and the gate. The gate is used to control it. As you can see that uh, this is quite similar to the symbol of a diode but here this is an extra, extra part is gate this okay so this is SCR symbol so this SCR is a member of thyristor family there are uh, various uh, family members of thyristor so it is uh, the most prominent member of uh, thyristor family okay it is a unidirectional device the SCR has three basic modes of operation these are first one is the reverse blocking mode the second one is the forward blocking mode which is the off state and third mode is the forward conduction mode that is the on state it is on state so here we will see the schematic diagram of SCR along with its VI characteristic and we will discuss all these three modes of operation of SCR so let's see them one by one so you can see here the reverse blocking mode is the first mode that we are going to discuss here in this the cathode is made positive with respect to anode the voltage at cathode is more in comparison to anode so this is the reverse blocking mode see here as in reverse blocking mode the voltage the potential of uh, cathode is high in comparison to anode so for uh, making it easier to understand let's assume that uh, here the potential is 4 volts here it is 3 2 and 1 I have written it uh, because uh, higher potential at, at this point and this is the lower potential so this potential is decreasing as we move towards anode so look at this the polarity the junction which junction is uh, forward bias and uh, uh, which junction is uh, reverse biased here you can see if the potential of uh, P is high than in comparison to N then it is forward biasing of the diode and uh, it is reverse biased when N is at higher potential in comparison to P. So in this case you can see that uh, junction J1 and junction J3 are reverse biased. In this case the P side this, this P side has lower potential in comparison to N so J3 is reverse biased and uh, if we talk about J2 in this case P is at higher potential in comparison to N so it is forward biased but this again J1 is reverse biased P at lower potential in comparison to N so junction J1 and J3 are reverse biased these two junctions are reverse biased while this is forward biased junction J2 is forward biased so because of this it will not allow the current to flow this is the off state of the SCR so if we keep on increasing this uh, voltage then what will happen eventually the avalanche breakdown will take place and that breakdown voltage is known as the reverse breakdown voltage 
in short we denote it by VBR you can see it also in the characteristic where we have applied the reverse bias that here the this is the VBR voltage breakdown voltage the reverse breakdown voltage where the avalanche breakdown occurs and the current starts to flow rapidly okay because uh, here you can see that this is a very small amount of current this is a reverse leakage current actually in the reverse biasing we know that uh, when the diode is reverse biased then a small leakage current known as the saturation current still flows which is uh, in this case is of a few milliamperes but as we keep on increasing the reverse uh, biasing the breakdown occurs and current suddenly starts to increase but uh, we should avoid this condition uh, because uh, it uh, rises the temperature of SCR and it has a devastating effect or the damaging effect uh, on the SCR. Next comes the forward blocking mode. In the forward blocking mode, the anode is made positive with respect to cathode but the voltage is less than the forward breakover voltage. I will explain you what is uh, forward breakover voltage but uh, first try to understand this uh, mode of operation of forward blocking mode of SCR here you see in the forward blocking mode it is also the off state of uh, SCR what we do the anode is made positive in comparison to the cathode so let's say that uh, it is having voltage uh, 4 I am just uh, giving this to explain you the concept 4, 3, 2, 1. These are the voltages as anode is at higher potential in comparison to cathode. So voltage is decreasing as we are moving towards uh, uh, cathode from the anode side. So let's see which junction is forward biased and uh, which junction is reverse biased. You can see here that uh, the junction J2 is reverse biased. How it is reverse biased? Because N is at higher potential in comparison to P. In other cases, in case of J1 and J3, you see that uh, here uh, P is at uh, higher potential in comparison to N side and here also in junction J3, at junction J3, P is at higher potential in comparison to this. But junction J2 is here reverse biased. So it is still uh, uh, trying to stop the current. It is not allowing the current to flow. We have applied higher voltage to the N or side. It's still current is not flowing because of this reverse biasing offered by the junction J2. So what will happen in this case? So in this case also this SCR is working as a open switch because it is not allowing the J2 is not allowing, allowing the current to flow. So if we keep on increasing this uh, anode voltage in comparison to cathode then a stage will come there will be a breakdown of this junction J2 and the large amount of current will start to flow this that voltage where this uh, breakdown of junction j2 that is which is reverse biased occurs is known as the forward breakover voltage you can also see this uh, in this diagram also in this vi characteristic this is the forward breakover voltage here you see that uh, it is not allowing the current and the small amount of current is flowing because junction j2 is reverse biased so even on increasing this uh, anode voltage the current anode current is very small okay and uh, as we cross this uh, uh, forward breakover uh, voltage this is the forward leakage current this amount is what this is the forward leakage current this was the reverse leakage current here is the forward leakage current because here also we have a uh, one junction that is junction J2 in reverse biasing. It is the forward leakage current which is very small. But if we keep on increasing this voltage of uh, anode voltage uh, more than the forward breakover voltage then suddenly the forward conduction starts. Okay. It is the on state of this. So but in this case forward blocking mode if we talk about forward blocking mode only we have the anode voltage higher than cathode but we keep this uh, voltage of anode less than the breakover voltage forward breakover voltage so the second mode is this is as the first mode that we discussed the reverse blocking mode the second mode is about this part only where the applied anode voltage is smaller than the 
VBO breakover, forward breakover voltage. Okay. So now we will see actually what happens if we keep on increasing this breakover voltage which comes in the third stage which is the forward conduction mode actually. Okay, here the anode voltage is definitely more than the cathode voltage, but the voltage we apply to the anode will be more than this breakover voltage and the conduction will start in the forward. This is a forward conduction. Okay, so this uh, as we apply the voltage higher than this forward breakover voltage avalanche breakdown again takes place. But before this, before this lower than the breakover voltage SCR acts as in open switch so let's see what happens in case of third mode which is the forward conduction mode so in forward conduction mode as i have already discussed that anode is again positive but uh, with respect to cathode but the applied voltage is more than the forward breakover voltage we can apply the gate pulse also i will also explain you how it takes place so first understand what happens when we apply the anode voltage more than the forward breakover voltage since if i will keep on increasing this uh, voltage then a stage will come then where this junction j2 will break down okay this breakdown will happen at a voltage higher than forward breakover voltage and uh, the current will start to flow this is the forward conduction or on state SCR will turn on. So this is one method of turning on the SCR where we increase the voltage of anode higher than the forward breakover voltage. The another way of uh, turning on the SCR is by applying the positive gate pulse to this uh, gate. Okay, by applying a positive pulse to this gate. Just analyze here that uh, what is the problem with this with the conduction in this case in the forward uh, blocking mode this junction j2 is reverse biased if anyhow we can do some mechanism that uh, we can increase the potential of this uh, this uh, p side in comparison to n then it will also be forward biased so our all these three junctions will be forward biased so one method was to break it but it is not uh, the right way it is not the recommended way the better way the convenient way is switch on the scr is by applying the gate pulse if we will apply suppose uh, we apply a positive gate pulse to this p side it's at the gate i'm just giving you an example just by applying uh, positive pulse its voltage is uh, suppose 3.5 its voltage is 3.5 then this is at higher potential in comparison to n n is at 3 this is at 3.5 and again this is also forward bias so all these junctions here it is at 1 it is at 3.5 then it is forward bias so all these junctions are forward bias so it is the forward conduction mode of the SCR which is on state so you see here that we can conduct the SCR by two ways by applying a voltage higher than the forward breakover voltage okay if we move it higher then it will start to conduct or by applying the gate pulse that is a positive gate pulse to the gate so that uh, the junction becomes forward biased and we can easily uh, conduct the SCR here you will also see two kinds of currents also this IL and IH these are known as the latching current here IL is the latching current at this point and I ho IH IH is the holding current okay so what we mean by these uh, holding and latching currents actually as the thyristor moves from forward blocking to forward conduction mode the external circuit must allow sufficient anode current to flow to keep the device latched the minimum anode current that uh, will cause the device to remain in forward conduction as it switches from forward blocking is called the latching current il okay but if the thyristor is already in forward conduction and the anode current is reduced the device can move its uh, operating mode from forward conduction back to the forward blocking okay so the minimum value of anode current which is necessary to keep the device in forward conduction after it has been operating at a high anode current value is called the holding current 
so this latching current and holding current are also important parameters you should understand okay this was all about the silicon controlled rectifiers uh, structure working and its uh, vi characteristic so i hope you understood all the concepts in the next videos we will see another members of thyristor like uh, gto igbt etc if you like the video then uh, please click on the like button and share it and you can also subscribe my channel for more such videos i will keep uploading more videos in future so you can get the notifications if you will subscribe my channel engineering made easy and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask uh, your queries or doubts in the comments of this video so keep watching engineering made easy thanks for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye